from the point when you left your doctorate, what were your steps after that, up until where you are now? So initially I got a summer job at the World Bank with another student of my supervisor, and then that extended for a few years. So I worked in the Culture and Poverty Learning and Research Initiative within mm -hmm. the World Bank, which was coordinating <coughs> the Poverty Reduction and Economic Management Group together with the uh, Social Development Group and the Research Group, mm -hmm. and trying to, under Jim Wolfenson, who was president mm -hmm. at the time, and Amartya Sen, who was the external advisor for the project, basically used trust fund money to support research tr that articulated how culture mattered quite instrumentally okay. to achieving poverty reduction. That is, when had culture been overlooked mm -hmm. and causing a failure of poverty reduction? Okay. And also, positively, when was culture an economic resource, either because of master craftspeople and the pos potential mm -hmm. for uh, handicraft industries of a, of a very high grade, or uh, cultural practices that made a particular community particularly good at, a, at a, a set of skills or activities. So what was that like as someone who had thought sort of theologically about the work of the World Bank and who had looked at some Catholic social teaching on poverty, what was it like to work in a policy context like that? It was, it was wonderful. I mean, my manager at the time was fantastic, Michael Walton, and I learned a great deal from him just about the people skills, but also he knew many people in the okay. bank and, and with our our work, uh, we had to, you know, always figure out who who was who in different parts in order to get an, an activity done or the right people present for okay. for a meeting. So that was an interesting, you know, first job yeah. skill set. But then there was also at that time the Friday morning group, which was an interfaith group, <coughs> which had been meeting since a time when the bank was much more closed than it, when it was when I was there. Mm -hmm. Starting with a moment of silence and then having, you know, tales of faith journeys from different faiths, and that provided an, an interesting community of people and a space for reflection. Mm. Um, and at the same time, you know, it was a great group. So at that time, the Voices of the Poor study was going on mm. in the next office. Um, the poverty reduction strategy plans were just being um, formed. And so it was quite a dynamic time of change. Mm. 